everyone, Sophia here from My Great Challenge. Uh, welcome back to my channel. And guess what? Today we are assembling the quilt. It's so exciting, isn't it? What you finally get to see what the whole quilt looks like after so many blocks. So, I looked at the uh, website. It's down below for Pat Sloan's uh, Sweet Dreams a Mystery Quilt for 2022. That's the quilt that I'm making and that is right behind me with all the colors. And there's no actual instructions on how to assemble it, but I got a pretty good idea of what we need to do. So we're going to do a border all around it in blue, and then we're going to assemble the sides and then both top and bottom, and we're done. But... If you can see on the picture here, this is actually Pat Sloan's uh, quilt once she finished it. Uh, so it gives you an idea of how she positioned all of her blocks. I'm probably not going to do the same thing because my blocks are different colors. So I don't want to have, um, you know, two purples next to each other, for instance. The one thing I don't like is the crisscross on the top. So I'm going to keep all of the border um, for the blocks in the background and I'm only going to do a box in blue around what I already um, assembled. You, when we get to it you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about. I just don't want to have that blue doing the crisscross. It just it's not appealing to me but for the border because there's a border you can because there's a border you can see that right with all the flowers I'm going to pick um, the same fabric that has the blue the green with the silver specks on it so I think it's going to look really really cool so let's get started I'm going to cut my blue to do the uh, border for um, the center larger center medallion and then we'll start positioning all of the blocks around the quilt to see which one fits best I don't want repeat colors again I don't want a purple next to a purple or even a hot pink next to a purple is too much of a similar color I want to have it like all over the place so let's get started So here's my quilt and here are my blocks and this is where I left you uh, last week. These are the corner ones. So I'm going to put them to the side. And these are all my additional blocks. There's um, well, it's 18 blocks all together but they multiply by 2. Well for the last one so I think it's 22 that we did in these. So, um, this is the center medallion that I've already somewhat uh, assembled. It's not finished. It needs a border. The same border I have here in blue, I'm going to do all around. And that is a measurement. Let's look. Okay, so it's one, it's two. One and a half is visible and then you get a quarter on each side. Uh, as part of the seam. So I'm going to cut bands. Oh, there's another block right here. I'm going to cut bands that are two inches wide. start with the length and then I'll add the bands that are on the top and bottom. So here is my quilt. I'm going to take one band and make sure it's long enough otherwise I'm going to have to join the bands. Okay, I'm good. And this is at a quarter of an inch. Leave a little bit on top. You'll cut it later. And you'll probably notice that what I'm doing is putting the band on top and the quilt at the bottom. They are right side to right side. And the reason why I'm doing that is so that I can control 
my band being flush to the quilt. If I had it underneath, I wouldn't be able to see the band and sometimes that's how it ends up being, uh, uh, you know, off the quarter inch. Here we go. at it and that is the band on the right side. Let me see how much I've preserved my points. Oh look at that. This is off. Hmm is it worth for me to disassemble? Nah I'm gonna keep it. Alright I'm gonna do the other side. Same process, then we have to square the corners and add the top and bottom. So I have my two bands on both the right and the left side and before I cut off the corners here to put the other ones I need to press everybody and we are pressing towards the dark side. That means this way. Before I assemble the top one, I'm just going to square this off. So I'm going to follow this line here and the line over there on top and I'm cutting up the excess. And that is squared. We are in my living room. This is the only space <laughs> that's large enough. So, uh, where's the top? Right here. Here is the quilt so far. So I'm going to lay it flat. And then I have to decide where I'm going to place all of my blocks. I gotta sit on it. <laughs> I'm sure they're gonna move around, but I gotta sit on it because I, I really. Oh man, it looks great! It looks great! Oh my goodness! Alright, so anyway, um, just to show you, on the, um, the way she wants it, this would be blue and this would be blue. And then this would be a different color. I don't want this crisscross of blue right now. Um, I don't know, I don't think I'm gonna like it. Maybe I'll do that, but then, yeah, I'll do that, but then these I'll keep in white. I don't want them in the uh, um, account uh, because uh, I, I really want the blocks to um, stand out. So I'm going to sit on it for a little bit, um, probably move blocks around, um, you know, orient them differently or whatever. Like for instance, on top, I don't know if you can see, but I have the two baskets facing each other. No good. I got to move the baskets. 
they gotta go somewhere else. Um, I'll see. All right, I'll be right back. All right, so I think I got it. Um, what I did is, if you look at this row, it's the same one that's over there, but flipped. So it starts with basket, crosswalk, uh, diamonds, and triangles. And then this way is basket, cross, diamonds, and triangles. And then over here is the uh, cross, the other cross, and the pinwheel. But when you go on the other side, it's the uh, cross, the other cross, and the pinwheel. So it's this way and that way. All right. I think I got it. I was trying to not have purples next to purples and, and all of that. Um, yeah. Okay. So I'm going to take a picture of it so I remember what I got. Because by the time I go downstairs, I'll forget. Let me look at it. Yeah. It's looking good. So let me look at my picture here. I'm going to start with the row that's on uh, the right side. So it's this one going this way. And on top of it, I have a two inch band. So let's do that. And the reason why the band has to be two inches is because it's got to match the other band. All right, remember it's doing like a uh, intersection. All right, let's go. Didn't lose my point you can see that excellent all right so this is that the next one is a narrow white before I put the orange I need to um, iron this and square it uh, like this okay here's my white band it's very important that you square those off because um, you're going to be all wonky otherwise. Alright, so it goes this way and the orange goes this way. So I'm going to place that here. And let's do this one. So the next one is the purple. You see that I squared my uh, band right here. Um, doesn't really matter which way it goes. It's the same all around. Okay, there we go. right uh, direction yes and I am going to place this and this seam here on the blue needs to meet the one right here if they don't meet then I don't have a cross well tongue action here <laughs> come on I'm so excited this quilt looks great. Okay, here it goes.
Okay. All right. You see the cross right here? Well, the beginning of it, the T. At least we got a T. All right, let's look at it from the other side. And from the other side, it looks off. Ah, not by much. You see how off? Let me give you. Yeah, it bothers me. I'm undoing this. I'm off by like less than an eighth of an inch. Yeah, I'm redoing this. <laughs> I think quilters all pick and choose what bothers them versus what doesn't. Alright, it's much better. Okay, um, let me press more. Well, I'll press it later. Okay, uh, so I have uh, the left side looking pretty good. And I have the right side looking pretty good. So now it's looking like a rectangle. We gotta bring it back to a square. I need to do the top rows. Ta da! What do you guys think? I think it's really cool. <laughs> um, Alright, do I wanna do a border or not? I don't know. It's not necessary. I think the border is gonna make it like even heavier. I don't know. Um, I'm gonna do the uh, uh, binding probably in the same peacock blue. I don't know, do I want a border? I gotta think about it. I've spent enough time thinking about it. I don't want a border. I don't think I want a border. It's busy enough as it is. Um, what I'm gonna do is probably go to the fabric store sometimes um, this week, hopefully, or this weekend. Uh, grab a coupon at Joanne or whatever. I need the backing uh, fabric. The backing is probably going to be either white or light green. And what I'll do is that I'll use the same peacock turquoise blue that's in the sashing and I'll use that for the binding. Uh, but I think that a border is just, I don't know, I don't, I, don't, I don't, you know, it's really an afterthought on the part. She didn't intend on having the border. Um, I think it looks beautiful just as is so uh, comment down below let me know how you like this quilt I know a lot of you were like eh. <laughs> colors but once you put it together I think it's working pretty good uh, is it my best quilt no um, but I enjoyed making it I really did so the next time you see me I will show you how to sandwich it and then I'll show you three different methods of quilting. We'll do um, walking foot, we'll do free motion quilting, that's the most difficult, and we'll do stitch in the ditch. Um, I think I'm going to do stitch in the ditch on the blue, on the sashing. And then the rest will be a mix of free motion quilting and um, walking foot. You know, like parallels and lines, stuff like that. Oh, and then I'll have to show you stippling too. Um, but anyway, yeah. So comment down below, tell me what you think, if you like this quilt. I like it. I think it's really cheery and, and uh, bright and beautiful. Um, I love simple quilt. Let me pull up so I don't have to bend over. There we go. I love sample quilts. I really do. Um, you, you just don't know where to rest your eye. Every time you look at a uh, block, you see another one you like equally or more. It's, uh, it's good to practice your skills. I was a little rusty um, when I started it. Well, that's not true. I just finished the Christmas one, as you can see over here. Um, I don't know. I just wanted to quilt. And Pat Sloan offers this mystery quilt. There's another one coming up. I'm not going to do it. It's called Let's Go Camping, I think, or something like that. Uh, or Summer Camping, I'm not sure. Um, I think I'm going to do a blouse next instead of a quilt. Um, once I finish this one. But I, I enjoy it. And sample quilting is the best way to learn different techniques and you see there's a lot of half square triangles there were some flying geese 
and uh, nine patches, the baskets, the pinwheels. So this is just like everything you need to know about quilting is right here. That's why I love the sample quilts. Um, is this a show quilt? Of course not. I have a couple of, you know, uh, tubs here and there or puckers and a couple of points that were, um, you know, chewed up a little bit. It was never intended to be a show quilt, so there you go. And plus, I don't do show quilts, I'm not a professional. So anyway, um, I'll talk to you later. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to check me out on Facebook and Instagram at My Great Challenge and uh, My Great Challenge gift for channel merch and Frenchie and Tabby for vintage finds. I don't know if you're going to see me next week because um, I don't know if I got time this week to go and get the fabric, but the next time you'll see me, I promise we will be quilting. I'll show you how to do it. I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hey, it's me. And guess what? Click that thumbs up if you really like this video. Thumbs down twice if you didn't. You can also share my video if you really, really liked it or save it to watch later. Also, you can subscribe to my channel, but don't forget to click that bell button so you are always notified when I post a new video. Thank you for watching.